Wagwan, 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 1KB fam Welcome back to the channel, if you're first time here, welcome If you're new here, my name is Ryan and in today's video we are about to start a brand new series And I want to give you a walk to show you step by step of how to do something like this It's gonna be a series video, so if you haven't already subscribed, be sure to subscribe for all this excitement that's gonna be coming up in this series in this series we're going to be installing concrete bricks and we're also going to install stone in some of the areas on this home I want to give you a walk to show you what it's like, show you what we're about to do and afterwards we're going to dive right into the video So with no further ado, let's dive right into the video So we're going to start here This is the brick that we're using, it's a concrete brick bit heavy we're going to use federal white mixed with all-purpose sand yeah so this is the home so I think we're gonna go with stone skirt go right around with stone the front section here We're heading to the back section here. All this wall here will be bricks. This column here are gonna be stone. So we're gonna have to build those up with stone, go all the way up. This is the back section. Come around here. This is the side section. So here we're gonna have to figure out, as you see here, the window should be lower, should be with the level of the concrete ledge or even lower, just a little bit. Over here, we're gonna have to cut this concrete off, bring it down. We cut off six inches off so that way we can sit or angle and right onto the concrete ledge so that way we can bring our brick right over. Around this section here, they have a uh, lots of step in and step out, lots of design. So come around that side. Go back there. This is a big piece of wall here. So we have that side. All right, guys. So I show you our own. With no further ado, let's dive right into the video. But before we jump into the video, give your boy Ryan a thumbs up. And subscribe for more upcoming video like this one. Let's get into it. So we're gonna have to take this much from here. I'm gonna cut down. Probably up around there. This way we can have our angle line sit right on top of our foundation here. So I bring this down to the same level as that one. This way we can have our hang line go right across. Just tape underneath the bottom 
of my window here. We also need to tape the side as well. And as you see, I tape the lower section after I go up. So we're gonna go ahead and tape the bottom of this window as well. These are all the stuff that we need to do before we start the installation of our bricks. So I have that section. I have that now I'm gonna do this one here. So right around your receptacle, you wanna go to and tape. Guys, if you're doing the job, just do it good and done. No short corner, no side step. Get it done right. We also need to tape this corner as well. Oh, this corner is actually sealed. So we don't need to tape that corner, but because we don't want any water to go in here, we're just gonna tape here just to go up. So that way we seal or a corner right here. We can stop right there now. Okay, so now that we finish our installation of our weeping plastic, our next step is to install our corner post. So we're gonna install one corner post here, and we're also gonna install another corner post down there. Usually if this wall was more broader, we would put a strap right in the corner here to connect this wall to the corner post. Because the distance is so short, you can use a level to plumb and level this section. So you don't need to put a strap in this corner here. So now let's jump right into it to show you guys how to install a corner post. Okay, so the first thing I want to do here, you want to sit your corner post right onto a concrete ledge here. I try to go up close, maybe like a hinge from the, the top of my concrete ledge. Now I'm going to go ahead and secure the top. So if you're working by yourself, something that you can always do as well, you can put a nail. So you can just put a nail right here. So that's like you get a second hand there. So once you have that nail, it, it, it's more easier for you to like maneuver without have to put a lot of tension on it. So now we're just gonna put a few nails into our corner post to secure it. So usually I put one here and one out at this end. You wanna make sure that the corner post is sitting flush onto your wall on both sides, both here and over here. That way you can maintain the square of the, the wall onto your corner post. Four nails should be good, good enough, two over here and two over there. So now that we have that, our next step is to get a brick tie. Put one brick tie over here and one over this side. Reason for that, if later on they want to do some form of purging, you always want to have your brick off rather than flush with the foundation. So we're looking for like a quarter inch hangover at all times. So this is your brick. We want to have your brick sitting just like that under, right? So we wanna put something to brace our corner post from the wall. So now we have to measure because we need to have a cavity space of one inch at the back of the wall. So we're gonna measure from the wall itself, come to the edge of the brick, we need to have four and a half inches. So if I put my brick right there on my tape, we need to have four and a half inches right there. And as you see over here, now we're left with one inch cavity space. So this we're gonna use for breathing space as we go up so i'm gonna try i'm gonna start with a brick tie so i bend my brick tie right where there's a nail hole there just fold it over like this sometimes you might find that you have to go with a plywood depends on this the size of the concrete ledge sometimes they don't give enough space for your concrete ledge they normally should leave four inches is the 
the size of the concrete ledge they should have but sometimes we go on site where they have like three inches two and a half so if somebody case you have to use something more broader like a piece of plywood even thicker than this one you would put it like so probably even can use this here just to show you guys because that's like a quarter inch which would be fine so if you have a piece of plywood you can just put the plywood you put a nail in there and you bend the nail just like so so we have plywood over here and over here we have um a brick ties so either one can work now that we have that we need to get our level we need to put our level onto our post to plumb it i'm just untightening my my post so now i need to push my post this way the way you want to do that you want to lift your post up you want to lift your post up so that way you take the weight of the post it slide more free so we're going to go up then pull out so right here it's telling me that she's plumb once it's plumb you want to get a short level and you want to put a level onto your wall like this and you want to measure to get four and a half inches my tape is being a bitch Okay, so we're aiming for four and a half. As you see here, we only have four inches. So what you need to do now, you need to get something that is half an inch to put down at the bottom. So that way the top can extend out more. So instead of use the brick tie, we have to use a piece of plywood that is half an inch. So I'm gonna go get a piece of plywood and come right back. I'm gonna grab a piece of plywood. All right, you guys miss me? No worry, I'm back. So I got my plywood here. All I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna put my plywood right underneath. And we're gonna do the same thing like we did before. Use a nail to secure her in place. So now that we have here, we need to come back out maybe like a half an inch. So that way it's plumb. That's right where she's plumb. We're gonna check again just to make sure that we have four and a half. So right there, we have four and a half inches to be exact. That's what we wanna have. So that way we have the right cavity space. If we go ahead and we check, you should have one inches from the brick to the, to the corner post. So if I measure, we should have an inch. So that's gonna be the cavity space that's gonna be at the back of the wall. Now that we have this side set up, we just need to tighten this up, make sure that she's nice and tight. Now we need to do the same thing over this side. So first we check for plumb, we slot our corner post again. Now she's locked. Now we're gonna lift it up in the here and just pull it out. So we lift up, out. She's being a bitch. Bring it out till she's plumb. Right there is where she's plumb. So once she's plumb, we're gonna get our level. We're gonna go on to the wall, just like you see I'm doing here. We have to measure from the wall. We're trying to get four and a half. So right here, she's telling me that it's five and a half inches. Now the reason why it's five and a half inches is because of the concrete ledge. Okay, so let me check to see if this wall is plumb. So this wall is plumb. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna bring in here a little bit. Instead I have it at three eighths, I'm gonna leave it with a quarter inch. So we're gonna remove this block from here. And we're gonna use this guy. So the reason why it is like the way it is, is because 
the foundation ledge is way off more than where it's supposed to be so if we if we go again and we measure i'll use a bigger a bigger level here i'm gonna just check to see oh, you know what let me plumb first i think i didn't plumb it back let's go in a little bit okay so right there she's plumb now that she's plumb we're just gonna check now to see what's the measurement that we have So here we have four and three quarter, which is fine. Sometimes we we'll go with four and three quarter as well, but most of the time we we'll go with four and a half. But four and three quarter is good. You also can just check with your brick just to see the space. But here you can see that we have a uneven space here. That's for some reason. Okay guys, well there you have it. I'm gonna wrap it up here. Hope you find this video useful. If you do like this video subscribe for more upcoming video like this we upload every week we try to upload on a wednesday at 10 a.m and a sunday at 10 a.m so subscribe for more upcoming video as you see this is just the start of what to come next so subscribe and be a part of the team thank you for watching as always and i'll see you in the next one peace out